Happy New Month! It's a beautiful new month and we are here to bring you all the new things you need to know, everything that is trendy in the world of entertainment. Today we've got new segments for you and you're going to enjoy every single bit of it. We are welcome to Breaking Bites right here on 3 Music TV. My name is Juji Coco and I am doing this with my sweet, 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 lovely co-presenter. Oh, oh, oh. Terry Tastic right here and of course we've become your one-stop entertainment show with a burst of fun, excitement and some infotainment just for your listening pleasure. We've always got everything that you need right here on a silver platter for you. So without further ado, sit back, relax and enjoy this ride as we take you through a 30-minute roller coaster of entertainment. <laughs> So welcome to the segment where we explore the fascinating world of words. We check out their meaning, their origin, and of course their pronunciation, possibly some examples as well. This is Word of the Day. The Word of the Day today is trident. Trident. <laughs> trident. Lots of people say trident. trident. That is not correct. <laughs> no, that's so, not where we are coming from. Because I know. Because I'm sure when we mention trident, they'll go like, mm -hmm. what are these people talking about? I know. So the yeah. word is actually trident. So try as in three, like triangle. All right? So that's the way it's pronounced. Not usually what you say is triangle. Nobody says that. But for those of you who don't know, a trident is actually a three-pronged a fork or spear mm -hmm. that is usually used by ancient gods as a weapon. Now, if yeah. you're trying to figure out what exactly I'm talking about, if you know Poseidon or Neptune, these gods, they usually would use that as their weapon. Now, for those who are movie freaks, if you've seen Aquaman before, see that three-forked thing he's holding? Mm -hmm. That's a trident, all right? So, yeah. henceforth, when you're pronouncing that word, or you want to find out what it is, it is trident. trident. So, we're going to kick off with our very top stories for today. We're going straight into the very first one. So, the famous celebrity, mm. or let me just say musician and mm. socialite, Hadia For Real, has been sentenced to one year, one day in prison in the United States uh, for getting involved in romance scam and internet fraud. Now, her uh, lawyers actually did uh, plead for three months, but it appears yeah. that the judge had a decision of her own and still stuck to his gun. But that was not all. They actually just went further to have her plead herself where the judge actually gave her an extra day in addition just for potentially coming out early on good behavior. But that's not all. The lawyers are also saying that they want for her to exit and return to Ghana immediately after her sentence. That way she would avoid any additional detention whatsoever. Now she's been told to pay 2.1 million US dollars uh, to her victims. Take a look at this video. Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. We just covered the sentencing of Mana Faiz Montraj, also known as Hajia for Real or Mona for Real in Ghana. But she was sentenced on romance scam charges. We've covered the case from the beginning. She was extradited in and she pled guilty. Uh, her, her sentencing guideline was 37 months to 46 months. She wanted three months. Um, there was a big dispute in the sentencing uh, proceeding about whether a former boyfriend talked her into it or if in fact she'd had some of these bank accounts opened before she even met him. There was allegations of abuse against the former boyfriend. There was an allegation of that a victim one who tracked her down to the Bronx, New York via her Instagram photos had in fact been catfished. That was the allegation that her image was used with the voice of another person. None of it was resolved. Judge Etkin took a break. And when he, re and when he returned, he imposed a sentence of a year. And she was also, uh, the U.S. consented to no ICE detention. She will go directly from the BOP facility. She's asked for Danbury beginning January 29th. She will go directly to an airport and fly to Ghana. So it's kind of a, it's a unique because I see a lot of people that actually go via ICE. But this is the case. This is the sentencing a year and a day for Hajia for real or Mona Faze Montrage. Inner City Press, we cover the case from the beginning to the end. InnerCityPress.com. So people may wonder why the judge didn't agree to give her a term of just three months to serve in jail. This is because she she is a single mother. Mm -hmm. To yeah, she has a daughter 
that is why they actually gave her three months in one year instead and of the day. three months that <laughs> they wanted. So, yeah. And you, you know, the crazy part was well, when she name dropped at the confession period. Yeah. And she was saying that the father of her child actually got her involved, introduced her uh, into this internet fraud and romance scam business. Yikes. Now, let's talk about the African giant. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Burner Boy. Found his name. The man that is in to make nothing but history. So on Saturday, as part of his I Told Them tour, he stopped by the London Stadium to perform. And Burner Boy is someone that is known for his great performances. Mm -hmm. He did nothing less than a great performance. Mm -hmm. Let's watch this video. <laughs> Look at this video. So beautiful. What kills me is the fact that it's power packed. And yeah. this is the second time that he's sold yes. out. Yes. At the London Stadium. Yes. And Wonderful. Yes, the capacity is 80,000. 80,000 yep. people. The place was so packed. And this is the second time he's selling out such a place. And you know what? Before his performance, before his concert in mm -hmm. London Stadium, he had an interview with London Stadium and then mm -hmm. he spoke about his career. He reflected on how people told him that, look, from where you are coming from, you can't achieve anything. Absolutely. How could you tell someone this? Absolutely. So he is very happy and so excited about the fact that he's been able to prove each and every one wrong. He said that, look, I'm going to make history. Mm -hmm. And with these eyes, you saw that indeed he made history. One thing that actually warmed my heart was the fact that the opening, the opening was such Mega. a peculiar one with <laughs> him bringing the comedian on stage to mm -hmm. do his thing. And afterwards, he also came on stage with... Oh my lay and Black, yes, yes, you name Shea it. Vibe, Charlie Poppy, and also he also brought Fino. Fino. There was Shea Fino Vibes. Has been there was there. Fino has been there in the music scene for a very long time, and seeing him on stage also brought back memories and all that. It, yes. was, it was actually yes. really wonderful. Bernard Boy did so well with So the well. He rose to fame in 2018 with his song, Yay, and it yeah. looks like he has been unstoppable yeah. ever since. Of course, yeah. if you want to find out more, you could of course just uh, check out his social media platforms yeah. for some Boy more news. Down. Yeah. So here we are about to show you that video clip that will get you slapping your knees and guaranteed to make you laugh out loud. What are we talking about? It's the video of the day. Now we have a very funny video we would like for you to watch. Just take a look. Bro, please, let me Oh, no, no, no. Chama, please, please, let me snap. Show me. Yeah, yeah, okay. every photographer out there run because I'm coming after every one of you <laughs> don't play else you're gonna learn and you're gonna learn the hard way <laughs> all photographers and photo studios are advised to shut down immediately as the very dangerous man is armed and on the loose have you ever seen a nigga like one each and every little one give me a Smoke weed, you know, this smoke, see that. 
That was a very hilarious video, wasn't it? Now, okay, for one, I will be hell of pissed off if I ask someone to take a picture with me and burn a boy. A once in a lifetime opportunity and the person actually fails to get Burna Boy's face in the picture. How do I share it on social media to this let is my very, fans? This is very funny. How what? can you take pictures and then crop off Burna Boy's head? And you know that this person really wants to get this picture. Burna Boy is not that kind of guy that exactly. you can go back and say, please, something once happened, in a lifetime so can we take this picture again? You can't have it again. Like, it's, it's like Time life. Time is money, okay? Not even Time that, it's like money. life. You die once, you don't come back again. It's, that's what it means to take a picture with hey. Burna Boy. You take it once and that's it, you never get the second time again. So I can imagine how furious the guy would be. I, I don't necessarily think his reaction was justifiable <laughs> to like sweep out the entire photography in community the in no. the city. No, that, that was a bit too extreme. <laughs> However, I can understand the fury, you know, with which he did that. So that's, that's totally, in a way, justifiable. <laughs> but that was a funny video, wasn't it? Now, talking about happiness and all the excitement, on Friday, Darko Vibes released a new track which he calls Wi-Fi. Check this snippet out. I remember just like yesterday, many men say I know good rain. Only God would have feel my pain. Now look at me, I'm standing on high ground. I've been working on godly hours. It was planned in my rainy days. I get lawyers for many days. And we get fight with the flow no fun. And you know monkeys play by sizes. Girl, they connect my Wi-Fi. And then they take this shit worldwide. I know they smoke no give on down. Go, 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 my hands out. Girls, they connect my Wi-Fi. It's crazy. I'm ready. Fucking ready. I'm high ready. I'm too ready. Such a beautiful song. So this song was actually produced by Highlander Beats, and on Boom Play, it has over eight thousand people listening to it already. Mm -hmm. Now on YouTube, it also has a little over one point eight thousand. Views. Views. Yeah, Ooh. so go ahead and listen to the song on all streaming platforms. So welcome to Top Listers where we count down from number five through number one in any specific category that we give you from the world of social media. Right. Here today, we're about to talk about the top five most followed accounts on, on Instagram. Instagram. Ready? Let's do this. At number five, we have the amazing celebrity Kylie Jenner with 399 million followers on Instagram. Also at number four, we have Selena Gomez with 426 million followers. At number three, we have the international superstar soccer player Lionel Messi with 503 million followers on Instagram. Oh, and at number two, we have Cristiano Ronaldo with 633 million followers. Of course, first place, drum roll please. The most followed account on Instagram. Is, is the Instagram account with 673 <laughs> million followers. Yep, that has the most number of followers on any Instagram platform known to mankind. Of course, if it's not Instagram, who, who else, else would it, would it be? be? <laughs> because it's your account. So, of course, yeah. and everybody else. Uh, are you following Instagram? I don't I'm think not. so. I'm not. <laughs> and you know, but now I would. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because over these past few years, it hasn't been Instagram. Because mm -mm. I've been wondering, if the app is yours, why wouldn't you get the most numbers? Well, because of people like you and me who haven't followed Instagram, that's the okay. reason. It okay. used to be Cristiano Ronaldo who yeah. had the most number of followers on Instagram, but now it appears that Instagram is actually taking that, you know, mantle yeah. to make sure that they become the most followed account they've as done, it should. Yeah, they've <laughs> done exactly what they need to do. The need fall. <laughs> On to our very last segment for today, we are looking at birthday messages. So that's how it's done. If there is that special someone celebrating his or her birthday, all you have to do is go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube at 3 Music TV and also follow us on all our social media platforms. Then you would see a flyer where you can fill in the, the names of the person, like all those people that you want to read the messages out to their names or whatever details that they need. And, and that on, lovely on, message yes. that you need to give and them on as well. X, <laughs> and on X, you can also hashtag 
three music breaking bites and then we get to read all those sweet messages. So On today, that note, happy birthday to you. <laughs> So today, there is a very special someone that is celebrating his birthday. And then Sam says, happy birthday, Eyeglass. Wishing you a fantastic day filled with joy, Aww. laughter, and everything you love. May this year bring you even more success, happiness, and wonderful memories. Enjoy your special day to the fullest. Absolutely. Best wishes. And if you were born on July 1st, you should know which celebrity you celebrate your birthday mm -hmm. with. For all you know, it might be someone you really love. But today, yeah. on 1st of July, Princess Diana was born on 1st of July, 1961. Mm. Of course, she's late right now. She died on August 31st, 1997. A, a very tragic car accident, unfortunately. Mm. But of course, uh, may her soul rest in perfect peace. But again, eyeglass. Happy birthday. That's the person you share <laughs> your birthday with. Yeah. Our one and only producer. <laughs> Happy birthday, Eyeglass. Now this segment is just for all my movie lovers out there. So what we are going to do right now is that we are going to display a number of images on the screen for you to decipher exactly what movie title that is. And if you, if you have any idea on that, go onto our social media platforms and type in the title of the movie you think this is. Let's check out today's emojis. All right, so Terry, I can see a dinosaur in there. I can also see an alien mm -hmm. and a bomb. Yes. What, what, what title do you think this is? Terry ate a dinosaur <laughs> and threw up bombs. <laughs> so, right, let us know what you think about these images in the comment section. And we may, we may just come on here to talk about those that were able to guess right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely give you a shout yeah. out once we see it. So get ready for that. Yeah. To Mojang Games it is. Yeah. <laughs> Here's where we come to the end of the roller coaster ride of fun and excitement right here on 3 Music Digital or 3 Music TV's uh, Bytes Reloaded. We hope you enjoyed every single bit of it. My name is Tastic, And of course, my name is Juji Coco. You can equally go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube at 3 Music TV and also follow us on all our social media platforms so that what Whatever we post, you would be the very first person to catch that. When everybody asks you, where did you get this piece of information from there, you'd whisper and say, I got this on 3 Music TV. Do remember that Breaking Bites is proudly brought to you by Waka Now. Waka Now. The threshold of travel at the touch of your fingertips with that imaginative whisper. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, see you later. Mm -hmm.